Hi, my name is Diane Southard, and I'm founder of Your DNA Guide. Today on DNA Defined, we are going to talk about genetic groups and genetic communities. These are two terms used by two of our DNA testing companies, MyHeritage DNA and Ancestry DNA, to define a particular kind of ethnicity result that you're that you're going to get. So. We talked a little bit in previous DNA defines about your ethnicity estimates being based on reference populations, so a group of people that they're comparing you against. These genetic groups and genetic communities are not based on reference populations, but instead are based on your DNA match list and their family trees. It's a really fascinating kind of algorithm that they use to come to these conclusions about your heritage. But what's most important for you to know is that these genetic groups or genetic communities reflect your ancestors in the last 200 years. They really cover that genealogy sweet spot that we're all trying to get at. Where was our ancestor at in 1820? These kinds of estimates, these, these genetic groups that you get, can help you understand better the migration patterns of your ancestors. It can help you identify locations where you should be looking for records to find your ancestors. In short, these are the most exciting part of your ethnicity results, so make sure you don't miss them. In fact, give them all your attention when you first log into your DNA ethnicity result. Make sure you know exactly which ancestor came from each of these areas. If you have an area that you don't have an ancestor, for, that should be your next area of research. So good luck exploring those genetic communities and genetic groups. I hope you find them as exciting as I do. And of course, make sure you subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any more DNA-defined tips.